Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a more talky video. So this is the drugstore indie or high end. I It's not even a tag, it's just a video and I saw this at the net channel. But I think LS and Georgia Harris did this first. So I am going to talk about a lot of different makeup products and tell you which kind I like the most. If it's drugstore, indie or high end. And I think I would just start with like my base, then my eyes, then my lips and so on. So we just start with base and the first is primer. And I am thinking about this and I, I think I would say drugstore. I have tested most drugstore, I have tested some high-end, um, but um, I think I have loved more drugstore primers than high-end primers, so I will go with drugstore. And then we can take foundations, and foundation, I have to say drugstore there as well. I have tested, I think, one high-end foundation, or oh, no, two. One is from a Swedish brand makeup store. I liked it. It wasn't the best foundation I have ever tried, but I liked it. And I also have tested NARS. It was a really good foundation. I don't know if it was worth the money, but absolutely drugstore. And some of my absolute favorite foundations is from drugstore brands. So I will go with drugstores. And for powders. Powders and me, I don't know what kind of relationship we have. I would love to find a powder that works for me like always. I have not found it yet because I am pretty dry. So sometimes I can't wear powder. And right now I don't wear powder to set my foundation because my foundation don't need that. If I'm thinking of which powders I have liked, I think it's drugstore as well. Um, I don't even think I have tested. I have tested high-end powders, but I think drugstore is my favorite there as well. Even though I don't have any like my holy grail powder, haven't found it yet. So if we go on to the things you put over your base. So contour, blush and highlight. For contour, I'm totally up for the drugstore as well. I think I just could name this video to the drugstore things. Um, it's drugstore. I love NYX. Yeah, I love NYX when it comes to contour and that's the drugstore brand. And for blushes, I think I will go with Indie because I love I love, love, love Nabla's blushes and I think Nabla is counted as uh, in the brand. So I will go with Indie for blush and for highlight. This is so freaking hard. Because I have some high end that I love. I also have some drugstores that I love. I also have some Indie brands that I love. But I think I will go with, I think I will have to say in the brand because Nabla has done my absolute favorite highlighter of all time. So I will go with Indie on highlighter. But that's a hard one because like today I have Anastasia Beverly Hills which is high end and uh, I love it. Can I say all for highlighter because that is so hard. So that was all for face or should I maybe take a setting spray? I will go with drugstore for setting spray. I love my NYX dewy finish setting spray. Right now I have Urban Decay Urban Decay Urban Decay All Nighter. It's good. It's not worth the I forgot something. I forgot concealer. And I will go with drugstore and concealer. I have test high end. Not as good as the drugstore. Okay, so <laughs> where was I? Setting spray. I like the Urban Decay. I don't think it's worth the money. I don't think I have to have it. I love the NYX one more. So for setting spray, I'm going to go with drugstore. 
maybe I should have done a little count thing up here with the how many times I say drugstore. Yeah. Okay, then we are finished with the face and then we can go into the eyes. And for eyeshadow primer, I don't really know. I haven't I have tested some more high-end eyeshadow primers, some drugstores eyeshadow primers. I think they work as good as anybody. I, I don't see such a big difference from which eyeshadow primer I use, so I think I have to say drugstore because if I find something that is pretty cheap, that works as good as something that is expensive, I will go with a cheaper alternative. So for eyeshadow primer I go with drugstore as well. So should I do eyebrows maybe? And eyebrows is pretty important to me. I do my eyebrows every day because I have such light hair as you see and my eyebrows are even lighter than my hair and I want to have eyebrows so I fill them in. I have tested a lot of eyebrow products but I think I have to say high end on that one. At least when it comes to the pomade, I love Anastasia's brow pomade. It's the best. So with that I will go with high end and for something to set my eyebrows, I go with drugstore. Either NYX or the one I'm using now that it's from Lumiene. It's a Finnish brand, it's a drugstore brand. So both high-end and drugstore for my eyebrows. And eyeshadows. And this is not hard for me. I guess you already know which one I'm going to say. And it is, of course, Indie. I love Indie brands when it comes to eyeshadows. I still love like Anastasia and Urban Decay. Some of their eyeshadows, not all. But Indie brands, they have my heart. Like Blush Tribe and Certify and Strobe Cosmetics. I really, really, really love Indie Brand when it comes to my eyeshadow because they make the funnest, co funnest color, funniest color, funniest, not the funniest, the best color, colors that are fun to play with. They are doing great with both shimmers and mattes. So I will definitely go with Indie when it comes to eyeshadow. So then we have mascara and I will go with drugstore. <laughs> this was like the super, super boring video. It's like me talking about drugstore for like 12 minutes or how long this video is going to be, maybe just 10. So yeah, with mascara I go with drugstore. Easy as that. I have loved, like, I am one of those people that love better than sex mascara from Too Faced. Sometimes it feels like I'm the only one, but I love it. But I also love drugstore mascaras. So for mascara, I am going with drugstore. Shocker! And do I have something left with eyes? I usually don't do eyeliner, as you may have noticed. I have never done eyeliner, I think. So eyeliner, I have nothing to say about, but we can talk about eye pens. I like these. I don't really know. I think I have to go with... Okay, I love my Linda Holberg. But I really don't know which category she's in. Because it is an indie brand. But it's also... I think it may count as a high-end. Uh, so I will say Linda Holberg. So indie brand or high end. It is an indie brand. So yeah, I will say indie on eye pants. So you can go over to lips. And uh, this is hard because I I love lipsticks and I have a lot of brands that I love. And if I'm going to think about which one is my favorite. I would either go with high-end or indie. 
Now when I think it, but I love NYX as well. So I think I love them all. Because if we, okay, drugstore lippies. I love my NYX ones. I love them so much. Um, and for indie, I love Jeffree Star, I love Colourpop. And for high-end, I love my Amastasia. And I also love my Nabla, and they are an indie brand. So with lipsticks... Okay, my camera shut me off. So for lipsticks, I don't know. I love some parts of it all, but I... <sighs> Why did I even do this video? Because it's so hard. Um, so I think I will go with all when it comes to like, lipsticks, because I can't use... Is that okay? And okay, that was all for this video. I don't know if this was even fun to watch. It feels like I just had one super long sentence for the whole video. A super long sentence with just drugstore. Drugstore, 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 a drugstore, 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 drugstore. <sighs> okay, I really hope you liked this video and I think it's fun to know what people love because I feel like I'm mostly talking about eyeshadows here on my channel, so I hope you like to hear what I also love for kind of stuff. For kind of stuff. Okay. I hope you like this video, even if it was not so good. I don't know, so I really hope you like this video and I will leave both LS and Georgia Harris and also Annette down in the description if you want to check their videos out and yeah I really hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!